Catfish to jeden z moich ulubionych Guilty Watchy na YouTubie. I chodzi o to, że specjalna ekipa najpierw dowiaduje się, a potem tłumaczy ofiarom różnych skamów, że ich nowa miłość znaleziona w internecie jest tak naprawdę nastolatkiem z Nigerii, który chce ich pieniędzy. I większość odcinków jest bardzo smutna, bo jest zwykle o jakichś starszych paniach, w zwykle wdowach, do których napisał jakiś przystojny pracownik Platformy Wiertniczej w średnim wieku. Tak? Ale raz na jakiś czas trafi się perełka, którą ogląda się bez wyrzutów sumienia. I zwykle są to starsi faceci przekonani o tym, że leci na nich 20 modelek lub 5 znanych aktorek naraz. I tutaj mamy taki przypadek, bo w najnowszym odcinku Catfish yy, mężczyzna myśli, że spotyka się z Jennifer Aniston. I tytuł odcinka brzmi Men Date Jennifer Aniston or Online Romance Scam. Chcecie się dowiedzieć? Umieram z niecierpliwości, żeby dowiedzieć się, czy bohater tego odcinka naprawdę umawia się z Jennifer Aniston. Możecie obstawiać na czacie, jak wam się wydaje. He's purchased a tuxedo and plans to attend Jennifer Aniston's birthday party in Hollywood. Oh, I actually went to the warehouse and was fitted for a tux. Steve has dished out thousands of dollars to meet his celebrity crush face to face. Rooftop bar, having drinks, then going on a drive uh, on Mulholland Drive, and then going back to her house. Strap in and join us on another episode of Scamfish. Seekers do not forget to check out the video we just released over the weekend. We teamed up with Trilogy Media to stop a man from selling his car to help a scammer. We even hunted down the person he sent tens of thousands of dollars to through wire transfer. After you're done watching this video, you're 100% gonna want to go check out that one. Real quick guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. My name is Steve, and I'm uh, 65 years old. I live in Flowood. Okay. Szczerze, Steve nie wygląda źle. Mississippi. I love any kind of things to do with. Rzucam to w przestrzeń i o, zmieniam temat. With marine life or fishing and that sort of thing. I'm employed as a physical therapist. Have been for 38 years. I uh, got married when I was 28 years old. Stayed married for 21 years, got divorced in 2004, have uh, enjoyed being single. Uh, I was raising a daughter on my own, so that was a, a challenging thing to do. Steve's online journey didn't start on a dating app. He got. Szczerze mówiąc, wręcz Steve wygląda jak ci mężczyźni, których zdjęcia zwykle kradną z kamerze, żeby skamować starsze panie. In contact with his favorite celebrity through Instagram. Well, I had, um, you know, liked a whole lot of her stuff that she had on Instagram. One night I happened to be on Instagram, it just the message popped up, you know, from Jennifer Aniston, basically kind of uh, just saying, hi, it's Jen, you know, what you up to tonight? She said that there was uh, something that she did quite often, reach to fans, to don't be surprised by it, just uh, talk to her like I would talk to anybody else. I'd seen a number of her movies. What I felt like was in my ability to critique a, an actress, felt like she was just, you know, born to be a, an actor. I called her a generational talent. I aspire to greatness myself oh. and really push myself to maximum. Mam pewne obawy, że to może być raczej odcinek bardziej z tych smutnych. Limits. And I felt like that we had that in common. Five, six, 115 pounds, brown hair, blue eyes. I would say is, uh, you know, your ideal profile for a female figure. We share in the love of keeping. 
W jaki sposób to są brązowe włosy, twoim zdaniem, Steve? Our bodies in good physical condition, so I felt like there was nothing, nothing to lose by messaging back, and so I did. Steve was so excited to be contacted by his celebrity crush. The next morning, he sent her a text to. Trochę nie rozumiem logiki. Jej ciało jest przykładem doskonałej kobiecej sylwetki, w związku z czym poczułem, że nie mam nic do stracenia. Steve. Continue the conversation. I actually got back a um, a voice recording of uh, Jennifer Aniston. It sounded like her, <laughs> and it was very rude and ugly. Is she? Myślę, że usłyszymy ten voice recording. She said, Hello, who the hell are you and how did you get my private contact? I messaged back and said, Needn't worry, I won't be bothering you anymore. Uh, she did follow. What? Jeszcze raz. And ugly. Is she said, Hello, who the hell are you and how did you get my private contact? I messaged back and said, What the hell, Jennifer? Needn't worry, I. Mnie przekonało to nagranie, nie wiem jak was. I won't be bothering you anymore. Uh, she did follow back up and, and said that, oh, you're Steve. Then. Nie będę wam tego teraz udowodniać, ale mam wrażenie, że ja zrobiłabym lepszą impresję Jennifer Aniston niż ten robot. And I said yes. So it was um, a very cold reception to begin with. Invader pyta, czemu ci ludzie nie piszą na przykład na oficjalne konto na Instagramie czy coś? Często skamerzy mają na to wyjaśnienie, że nie piszę do ciebie z oficjalnego konta, bo na nie mają wstęp moi menedżerowie, albo prowadzi je moja żona, albo generalnie no, chcę bardziej dyskretnie z tobą porozmawiać, więc to jest moje konto prywatne, tak? a to oficjalne to prowadzi ktoś inny. I oni totalnie w to wierzą. And it stayed that way for probably several days. But she was very short and You didn't wanna, didn't chit chat much at all. Steve was a little shocked when he received the voice message from Jennifer, but this made him believe that it truly was her even more. The two continued conversations over the next few weeks, and the conversations got deeper. Then she began to warm up as you know time went on. We began to correspond on a daily basis. I had asked about video chatting and that sort of thing. The, the response that I would get was that that's not allowed. Her management won't allow it. Widzicie, management jej nie pozwoli. The relationship that we've developed, that's what I've desired for forever. You know, it'd be like a dream come true. Said that she felt like uh, we had a good enough relationship that we uh, ought to be getting more serious in our, in our conversations and our talking. We were conversing about it at the time. And I was responding to something that she. What? Dlaczego Jennifer pyta go, co jest stolicą Ohio? What games are you playing, Jennifer? Had asked me uh, if she had interjected just like in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> you're so smart. <laughs> okay, I see the games you're playing, Jennifer. <laughs> I love you. Oh, okay. Okay. Szybko przeszliśmy. Dosłownie dwie wiadomości od jaka jest stolica Ohio do I love you. So she said, oh, you didn't say it back. And I said, well, okay. yeah, I love you. Oh, Steve, to chłodna jednostka. <laughs> oh my God, Steve. Jennifer Aniston. I <laughs> love, love, love Jennifer Aniston. Okej, okay. w zdaniu miłości mówione w trzeciej osobie do osoby... Um, Steve! Teraz zastanawiam się, w jakie gry gra Steve? All in caps. And, uh, you know, she sent back a, a face with hearts on it, that sort of thing. And I mean, you know, I, I was always in a fantasy love with her anyway. And then to actually validate me as being a, a man who is valued as far as um, uh, being attractive, being uh, desired and worthy. I've said before that I aspire to, you know, hire things. Any, anybody who 
would be. To, czego nie rozumiem. Rozumiem, dlaczego się dają nabierać, ale nie rozumiem, jak mówią, że ludzie ich pytają o to, dlaczego się zakochałeś z kimś, kogo nigdy nawet nie widziałeś, a no bo mieliśmy takie deep connection i była zupełnie inna od osób, które znam i tak dobrze się z nią gadało, a potem pokazują te wiadomości i to jest coś, co dosłownie mógłby napisać kod przechodząc po klawiaturze. You know, extraordinary. Hey, you know, it's like she might be the forbidden fruit for you know, a lot of folks that wouldn't even try. So, I mean, it's like the lottery. You're not gonna win the lottery unless you play it. She did talk about coming to see me sometime in March once her schedule was uh, finalized. What I consider to be the ideal day would be able to go to a park, hold hands, and you know, just enjoy the the scenery of being outside and alone together and then going to... Ten gość przynajmniej nie ma żony, co już czyni ten odcinek o jakieś 300% lepszym od dwóch od kilku poprzednich, które oglądaliśmy. To a uh, rooftop bar, having drinks, then going on a drive uh, on Mulholland Drive and then uh, going back to her house and um, just enjoying each, each other's company. She sent me a Google invitation to her birthday party uh-huh. which will be Sunday February the 11th so I was good with that Czekajcie, muszę przeczytać co jest napisane w tym Google form Lola V. Bliss We are all excited for the queen to rock her new age She's been amazing this past year We have been chosen to be a part of this year's private celebrations and be This is a private invitation if given to you to feel do not share to other individuals as a ticket won't be given to such person and hence you forfeit your ticket. Przyznam, postaranko nieco większe niż przy innych skamach. So I was good with that. Then actually began to make plans for to być... attending her Nie... uh, birthday event. To ma być przyjęcie niespodzianka. To znaczy, że Jennifer mówi o nim swoim znajomym i pewnie menedżerom. This past Sunday I actually went to Men's Warehouse and was fitted for a tux that oh, yeah, we had both looked at Steve. and agreed that would be a, a good one to wear because she was yeah. going to wear all white and she initially said she wanted me to wear all white. Oh. And I said, don't you think that's going to kind of take away and no. distract from you? being in all white no. in your angelic appearance. We... Oh my god, dobra, teraz... Cze- czemu ja to sobie robię? Wyobraziłam sobie właśnie, że to jest mój rozwiedziony tata, który mi się wydaje, że zaprosiła go na urodziny Jennifer Aniston i on cały podekscytowany poszedł dopasować sobie biały garniak żeby pójść do jednej imprezy i fantazuje o tym, jak dobrze będą razy wyglądać w bieli. O oh my god, nie wiem, czy dobra, to dużo dłużej. Went with a white uh, dinner jacket with black lapels and buttons and whatnot. So I'd actually gone and uh, paid for a rental. Things started to snowball with the birthday invitation her talent uh, manager Eileen Kasheshian messaged me covering uh-huh. questions you know airplane flights and about how to arrange those and who was going to pay for what Fuck, to jest naprawdę przemyślany skam chociaż akurat to że pisze jakaś inna osoba do ciebie w sprawie tej pierwszej osoby to jest dość popularne u skamerów ale że jakby piszą w miarę z sensem żeby okażnąć bilety lotnicze i tak dalej mm things like that. Part of the plan was to make a donation to her foundation. Pretty much expected to, which I made a $500 donation. <laughs> Harpakan pisze, we had a deep connection. The connection. Hej, co jest stolicą stanu Ohio? <laughs> Dziękuję za rozbawienie mnie w tych, tych mrocznych, mrocznych czasach. W tych mrocznych czasach myślenia o moim tacie kupującym biały garniak dla Jennifer Aniston. And she said that she would put an additional $500 with it because she wanted 
her man, as she put it, to not look cheap. The oh, ticket God. to the event was also uh, $300, which I actually sent. So that was $800 that I had sent. I had told her, I said, you know, to be able to pull this off, uh, I'm going to need significant help from her to be able to do it because uh, the flight, the cost of the ticket, the donation, renting the tux was uh, probably more than, than I'm going to be able to uh, do on my own. I would tell her that pride was one of my things that I have to check myself on quite frequently. And she said, that's not a big issue. She said, my father always said that pride was what makes a man. Kind of made me feel better about myself. I would love to think that I've been talking to Jennifer Aniston, you know, developing a relationship. She was going to announce at the party that I was going to be uh, her new boyfriend. That was a, a huge shock to me, uh, but certainly um, something that I would be on board with. You always have the uh, the hope and desire of uh, of really, you know, meeting your your dream date or your dream girl, and um, that's what has led me to be so persistent with it. All right, Seekers, we had some debunking to do. Steve sent us a bunch of information to research. We had a Google invitation. Nie wiem, tak ciężko mi jest uwierzyć. To, to nawet nie jest aż tak starszy facet. A, a come on. Jennifer Aniston ogłosi na swoich urodzinach. Ona w swojej przyjęciu niespodziance, o której, o której wie z jakiegoś powodu, że jesteś jej chłopakiem. Nie widzieliście się ani razu. Ach. To Fader pisze dosłownie, trzeba być emerytem, żeby w to uwierzyć. Ja nawet nie wiem, czy on jest emerytem. On wydaje się być po 50, nie? I don't know. Ok, jedna kwestia to być nieogarniętym z internetem. Ale druga kwestia to być nieogarniętym z tym, jak świat działa. Żeby uwierzyć, że to jest Jennifer Aniston. Bo to nie jest tylko jakaś ładna, młodsza dziewczyna. A, mówił, że ma 64? To, to, to dobrze wygląda. ...into Jennifer's birthday party, some photos of her, her manager's contact information, and the biggest reason Steve believed that this was all real, the profile that he would contact Jennifer Aniston through had a blue check mark on it. Steve... Oh, fuck. Okej, okay, okej. Okay. Mamy kolejny powód, żeby gnoić Ilona Muska. Ktoś kupił sobie niebieski czek na Twitterze i może teraz skamować biednych emerytów. Brawo. It was all packed and planned to fly to Hollywood for the birthday party, but we told him it wasn't a good idea and to hold off on it. After a few days of gathering some facts. A, to Telegram? To nie był Twitter? A to przepraszam pana Ilona Maska. Strasznie go oszkalowałam. Mam nadzieję, że mi wybaczy. Mam nadzieję, że mnie nie pozwie. A nie mam pojęcia jak to jest z weryfikowaniem na telegramie. Nie mam zielonego pojęcia. Jackson doing some research. We felt confident that we could break through to Steve. If you're in a similar situation to Steve and you want to know if the celebrity you are communicating with is truly who they say they are, we may be able to help you out. Email us at sharemystory@socialcatfish.com. Stick around until the end. Przeze mnie Ilon nie przyjedzie do Polski. Oh no. Tylko nie to, Elon. <laughs> Elon, co jest to Ohio? Ohio? <laughs> we'll track down the real locations of this person behind this profile and break down what we found as Steve. A few days later, we set up a video call with Steve. Hey Steve, my name is Brianne. I'm one of the search specialists that was working on your case. How's it going? Uh, it's going good. Um, got a good day. It seems like you've had, you know, a lot of issues with your family stepping in and telling you, hey, these profiles could be fake. Do they know that you're meeting with us today? Yes, actually, my daughter um, sent me the link to email you guys uh, to get this whole thing started because I'm getting retirement age. So she didn't want me sending it, wasting money uh, sent to these folks that are, are trying to get money from 
Czy wypowi- wypada mi powiedzieć coś o córce Steve'a? Czy... Czy nie bardziej się powstrzymać może lepiej? What were some of the reasons that you had to believe that this could truly Harpagan pyta Kasia, czy podsumowywałaś już event Willy Wonki w Glasgow? Powtarzam po raz kolejny, nie było mnie na evencie Willy Wonki w Glasgow i jeżeli słyszeliście to od kogoś, to bezczelnie kłamie. Be Jennifer Aniston. Uh, when I first uh, met Jennifer, I was fairly new to Instagram and hadn't been on that platform very much. My daughter made me aware of the blue tick that... Blue tick? <laughs> Brzmi jakby to był niebieski kleszcz. Też fajnie. ...is on verified accounts. And the reason that I thought that this messaging was legitimate because on the um, telegram that I've been messaging Jennifer on, it did have that blue tick on it. In most cases, we are all familiar with blue check marks and social media and how they work. Um, usually you'll see bigger accounts, celebrity accounts, official accounts have that blue check mark. For Telegram, however, you are able to create a profile and also pay a little bit extra by upgrading to their premium plan. Well. And in doing so, they allow you access to add a blue check emoji to your profile. Oh, well. Co za doskonałe rozwiązanie, prawda? Kto by się mógł spodziewać, że coś złego z tego wyjdzie? Okay. Without even checking to see if you're actually who you say you are. And it costs $4.99. Definitely got their money back from me on that one. When we researched all of Jennifer Aniston's social media accounts, as of today, she does not own a Telegram account. And I thought I was being really careful by, um, by observing the blue check mark. And um, that's really a big reason why I felt so confident that I was actually talking to the real Jennifer Aniston at the time. So one of the things we would like to dive into is the voice memo that Jennifer Aniston sent you. I was a little put off because I expected something to come back uh, that was friendly. I, I didn't expect that that message was, um, I thought it was kind of rude. There's AI generators uh, that can allow you to pick whatever celebrity that you want. Um, they have thousands. Powiem wam, że przewidywałam jakiś czas temu oglądając Catfish, że te odcinki staną się coraz bardziej, bardziej skomplikowane i mniej śmieszne w miarę jak będzie rozwijać się AI. I niestety miałam rację. The selections. Um, and they'll turn your voice into your favorite celebrity's voice. We did test out a few, and Brie from our team, she hopped on and created a message that sounded identical to the one that uh, you had. Hello, who the hell are you, and how did you get my private contact? So that's actually Brie from our team. She uh, went in, took her own voice, said the same thing that this Jennifer Aniston said. Um, niedługo będą mogli w video chat. No, y, już trochę próbują. W sensie było parę odcinków, w których y, nabrali kogoś takim bardzo, bardzo słabym AI video chatem. W sensie, że jest zdjęcie kogoś i tylko usta się głupio ruszają. And created the same exact sound. Kind of floors me and makes my kind of jaw drop open. That was a surprise. Just to let you know, Steve, there's hundreds of free apps, paid for apps that you can download just right on your iPhone and just do it in seconds. Well, well, that, that's very eye-opening to me that I, I never considered that. I think it's educational for me that, in knowing that these things can, can be uh, generated like that. Because now uh, with technology, we don't really know who we're talking to. But why exactly? Would this famous actress ever ask you for money? Uh, ahead of coming to her birthday party, she would send me a little bit of money, and then I would send uh, a larger sum of money back to make the uh, like the full amount of a plane fare. Damn, to to był naprawdę sprytny scam. Nie było tak, że Jennifer prosi go o 
karte na Steam podarunkovou. Tylko faktycznie rozkminili to trochę lepiej, więc tym bardziej szkoda mi Steama. She would like pay for a day and then she would want me to send two or three days work back so uh, through her management company so they could book all of that for me. No guy had ever paid her bills for her. So part of a um, being a man and man enough to like send a little money just to show um, goodwill on, on my part that um, knowing that she didn't need the money to show her that um, that I was really on board and, and invested in her. And one time... Uh, Steve, nie wierzę, że sam w to wierzysz. Że Jennifer nigdy nie umawiała się z gośćmi, którzy sami płacą ze swoje rachunki, więc co to za logika? Um, she was in Hawaii on a vacation. Uh, she... Steve wie, że to jest kadr z filmu, prawda? Wiesz o tym. She said that she would like for me to send her lunch money. I was sip. O, okej, okay, dobra. To jednak nie jest taki sprytny skam, jak myślałam. Steve jednak jednak jest trochę głupi. I'm sorry. Then her like $250. They saw Jennifer Aniston. 250 dolarów na lunch na Hawajach. I'm out. A week so that she so that she could have her quote lunch money. She was possibly looking for for somebody who was going to be outside the movie or the industry itself thinking that I'm going to be the exception to the rule um, and I'm going to be that one who actually does win the lottery but um, it hadn't happened yet. Let's talk about all the payments that you sent over to us. You had sent over screenshots of PayPal payments. There's even a crypto image in there as well. Okay, so the $500 um, payment that I sent through, it actually went to somebody evidently in Australia because it was converted into Australian dollars. So what we did is we took that wallet address and we looked into that transaction. And so basically what I did was is looked at every single withdrawal from that wallet and it was all leading to this main Binance exchange wallet. Um, it looks like this wallet's been around for some time, had been receiving and sending money for a long time. That raises some red flags because what that tells me is you're not the only person sending money to this wallet. Yeah, I, I figured since I probably hadn't heard anything from her today, she's working on somebody else. Hej Kasia, z tej strony starszy pan, który wygrzebuje drobne w aptece. Wyślesz mi 15 zł. Yy, dawaj PayPala. What's going on with Jennifer? Uh, she would like to see me come into her birth. Ale poproszę najpierw zdjęcie z karteczką i napisem Kasia, co jest w stolicą Ohio? Day party tomorrow. Look, Steve, I have to be honest with you. This is not the real Jennifer Aniston that you're talking to. No way. This is what we call a catfish. I was getting that feeling. Um, I, I'm, I'm disappointed. Um, but life goes on. I guess just the desire to um, be in some way associated with her, even though it's, some, it, it's, it, it, it's been in a fake way. Um, you get something out of that. Um, I mean, it, it, it just kind of lifts your, your spirits. Um, Dobra, Steve stracił ile? Kilkaset dolarów do tysiąca. Nie wiem, ile zapłacił za bilety na tę imprezkę. No i trochę dumy. Ale generalnie nie jest źle. Ludzie sprzedają domy w tym programie, żeby wysyłać swoje internetowe miłości. Plus trafił na troszeczkę sprytniejszych skamerów od tych, co zazwyczaj. Więc przejdźmy do mocniejszych odcinków. Ci ludzie operują na nadziei, bo dużo z Was pyta, czemu oni z własnej woli idą do tego programu. Dlatego, że oni naprawdę mają jakiś cień nadziei, że 
prezenterzy tego programu powiedzą im, że to prawdziwa Jennifer Aniston do nich pisała. Victim finds out both his internet girlfriends are romance scammers. Obie? O oh no, obie twoje dziewczyny były internetowymi skamerkami. Okej, okay, to... To może być dobre. Wydaje mi się, że to będzie dobre. Dobra, obiecuję, że ten może... W sumie nic wam nie obiecuję. Nic wam nie obiecuję, dobra? Siadać i oglądać. I made all this money on, on crypto. My uncle has a uh, has a strategy. She said, "Oh, my friend also made ten thousand dollars on it today." Now, that I was supposed to put more money in so that I could make more money. I did take out a loan for twenty thousand dollars. What's up, seekers? Welcome back to another episode of Scamfish, sponsored by SocialCatfish.com. I set up the flight and everything, and sent her all the itinerary. She said, "Oh, that's great." She says, "I'll be at the airport to meet you." Uh, she wasn't at the airport to meet me. <laughs> she kept on telling me she loved me and we were going to be together. And if I would just do what she told me to do, that I could get rich. On today's episode, we speak to a man named Ernest who was contacted by a woman named Mazine on Facebook Messenger and began to invest into her uncle's cryptocurrency website, causing him to lose thousands of dollars. And he even took a flight to go and see her, but she never showed up. Ernest came to us to verify her true identity. Let's see if we can help him out. Real quick, guys, don't forget to like. Okay, mam wrażenie, że w tym przypadku może być jakiś rasistowski podtekst w tle. W sensie mam takie przeczucie, że gdzieś on może tu wystąpić. A comment and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into it. My first name is Ernest, and I'm 71 years old. Well, I was in the army for 22 years as a military policeman, and a, a big hunk of that. Well, I was an investigator. Uh, I'm involved in my church. I do prison ministry once a week. Hmm. Były policjant zaangażowany w kościół. Co złego może się tu wydarzyć? I was up in DC where I originally grew up and everything and all my family is, but my two daughters were living down here. So I said it's time for me to reconnect with my daughters and I moved to Alabama. I was married for 19 years. I had two children by that marriage. We got divorced. I was divorced for about two years and remarried to I, when I was in the army and, and I married another soldier uh, that was a little bit younger than me, and we were married for four years, found out she had an alcohol problem, so it kind of broke up the marriage. So I got divorced in 95. No real romantic like, relationships right now. I have, I have a lot of friends that are females, but I don't have... Każdy boomer na Facebooku be like... <laughs> I no real romantic like relationships right now I have I have a lot of friends that are females but I don't have any you know love relationships Ernest got back on Facebook to reconnect with old friends but instead ended up meeting someone new and I just got back on Facebook in June I reconnected with all my family and friends and then I started getting all these friends requests and stuff like that and I was actually on a Bible study group and they kept on adding people to the group and they had one girl that was Filipino, I think. Her name is Mazing. And I asked her, I said, are you Filipino? And she says, no. I said, well, are you Japanese? She says, no. I said, Chinese. And she said, yeah, you got it. I'm Chinese. Her face is oval. It's not round. It's oval shape. You've got long black hair. You've got a real nice figure. Um, it's a little bit bustier on top than most Asian girls. Oh, told ya, told ya. She's long and slender, and she just got these long, lean lines, and like a whole bunch of other Chinese girls I've seen online. She reached out on Facebook, and it was just a casual, hi, how are you doing? And we, we chatted back and forth. 
Boże, jakie to było obleśne. And she said that sounded interesting and I thought she was interesting and she was really pretty, you know. Ernest, I want to tell you that it was such a pleasure to become your friend today. If you are going to bed soon, then we'll talk. I co, mniej smutno? Mniej smutno tym razem? Oh my god. Ernest. We talk about her, you know, she talked about her family and she talked about her relationships and I talked to my about mine. Sometimes we were matching up dates and say, oh, well, this happened. Mm. Okej, okay. pytają, kiedy się urodziła, czyli pytają o wiek de facto. Myślicie, że to dobrze, czy, czy że to właśnie gorzej? Mam wrażenie, mam mocną obawę, że to może być nawet gorzej, że on pyta. Że on nie pyta z dobrymi intencjami. O, uuu, Ernest, Ernest, i to jest moment, w którym kończysz tę rozmowę. Nawet wcześniej nie piszesz tej wiadomości, tylko kończysz tę rozmowę. Laska urodziła się w tym roku, w którym ty wziąłeś rozwód. Mm, myślę, że to przeznaczenie. Słuchajcie, jeżeli dzisiaj się rozwodzicie i jest wam smutno, nie smućcie się, pomyślcie, że być może właśnie rodzi się wasza przyszła dziewczyna, która was oskamuje na pieniądze, ale to nieważne. Zaczęło do niego pisać dużo kobiet nagle i wszystkie były od niego dosyć młodsze. Hmm, Ernest, coś tam ten? And I kept on telling her that I liked her, I loved her, or whatever. She was a little bit standoffish, but not really. And she was accepting it, but she said, "Well, I, I'm a Chinese lady, and that isn't in our culture." So I went, I went and found the words for it in, in Chinese, and I actually sent it to her in a text. And then the next time I said something. Jakie postaranko. To her, she said, "I love you too." I guess the thing was that we were eventually going to get together. Because she kept on saying, well, you, I'm coming out there in September. And I said, why are you coming out in September? She says, well, it's your birthday. And I want to come out there in September and see you. And we can finally get together. And that was always kind of like the goal. So we were, we were going to get together physically, I mean, you know, sexually or whatever. And she was going to take me on a tour of L.A. and stuff. She was going to pick me up and take me to her house. And I said, you're not going to put a bag over my head or anything, are you? <laughs> yeah, I could even tell you <laughs> what amazing pair Jezu, koń mi by ze mnie z tego nie, by ze mnie tego nie wyciągnęli, gdybym miała takie wiadomości na telefonie. Oh my god. Okay. So, she was super sweet. I mean, the only thing that was weird was we'd be talking, you know, about oh, I, I really like to be with you and all this kind of stuff. And then she says, well, you know, you really need to talk to my uncle about this or something like that. So, whoa, wait a minute. It was like a switch flipped. And she went from being nice, sweet, lovable Maisine to the businesswoman. Ernest enjoyed Maisine's company and thought she was attractive. But to continue talking to her, she wanted him to start investing into crypto. Because mm. we're talking every day for several hours a day. 
And uh, finally, she said, "Oh, look at here! I made all this money on, on crypto. My uncle has a uh, has a strategy." She said, "Oh, my friend also made ten thousand dollars on it today." And then she said, "Have you ever done crypto?" I said, "No, I don't have a clue about crypto." She said, "Well, would you like to do it?" I said, "I don't know. I don't have anything to do with it. I, you know, I'm not even really into investments." And I told her, I said, I don't feel right about this, and I was upset. You know, I said, I think you're just trying to take advantage of an old man. You know, and she's, oh no, 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 no. I said, yeah, I think so. I, I, I feel it. And I was, I mean, I was really upset. And uh, she talked me down. She says, no, no, it's not about that. I just want to help you out. Then she started suggesting about how much money I should put into crypto and where I should get it and all this kind of stuff. And I wound up, I pulled five thousand dollars out of a CD. The next day, her she. She turned me on to her uncle, and her uncle walked me through making a, a purchase. I made a little bit. She. Lucia 93 pisze. By the way, ostatnio zerwała ze mną dziewczyna, która była lewicową blondynką z Lublina. Jak się pozbierać? Szczerze mówiąc, you dodge the bullet. He directed me to a bank, which was the American Community Bank in New York. It's an account in my name, and then once it got into the American Community Bank. We moved it into Bakhti, which is a investment site. And then once you get it into crypto.com, then you go, then you start doing the, the purchasing of, of the crypto. Mm-hmm. But when they took the fees out, then then I was, you know, I was basically breaking even or a little bit less. Now that I was supposed to put more money in, so that I could make more money, that I could make bigger transactions, and and part of that was to put it into this Chinese thing that. I didn't want to do. I actually did the wire transfer. I set it all up, gave her and her uncle the information that was going to go there. This was to HSB Bank in Hong Kong, I think. And she reassured me. She says, "Oh, I do this all the time. You have to do it to to get the money into there so you can big make bigger trades." And I said, "Well, it doesn't seem right to me." And that's when they said, "Well, we'll try this other place." And it was called Uphold. That is also a crypto thing. Up until this point, Ernest's funds are tied up in multiple crypto investment services, and he can't withdraw any of it. Well, my uphold account is frozen, and it's sitting there. I got. Czy zdarzyło się w tym programie, że ktoś nie był katfiszem na koniec? Nie widziałam osobiście takiego odcinka, ale jest cały sezon albo seria innego programu 90 Day Fiance, w którym ja wiecie o co mi chodzi, że ktoś przylatuje do Stanów z innego kraju i mają 90 dni, żeby się zdecydować, czy biorą ślub, czy nie, zanim wiza wygaśnie. Strasznie durny problem. W każdym razie jest jedna para, która się poznała w ten sposób, że gościu z Indii napisał do starszej pani w Stanach, udając młodego Brytyjczyka, tylko coś podejrzanie dużo mówił o krykiecie. O, 1K Gold, please, dziękuję za suba. I okaz- ona przyjrzała, że on ją skamuje, ale on potem jakby się wyautował, że ją skamuje i, i tak się w sobie zakochali. I słuchajcie, oni, oni się serio w sobie zakochali. W sensie ona poleciała do niego do Indii, żeby z nim mieszkać i on się strasznie pokłócił z całą swoją rodziną, bo się zaręczył ze starszą babką. Z taką naprawdę starszą babką. W sensie była starsza od jego matki. I to było strasznie śmieszne, jak ona się poznawała z jego matką. Znaczy ta babka się poznawała z jego matką. To było uuu, aż tam było dramy. And that's all the money that's out there right now. I did take out a loan for twenty thousand dollars, and I took out a secured loan for five thousand dollars. I pulled five thousand dollars out of my uh, my CD, so I got a total. What was it? Thirty thousand dollars. I think all along the way I was suspicious, but every time I questioned something, she reeled me back in. You know, I said, "I love you, I love you, I love you," and all this kind of stuff, and I'd be back there again. And then I then I was asking her for some real, real proof. That she was really a real person. Aha, coś dobrego pewnie mu wyśle. And I had a real address that I could write to her. Ernest was desperate to know if Mazine was real or not, so he had her send videos and even went on a flight to meet her in person. 
she tried to prove that she was who she was a couple times by sending me she did a video conference thing with me but i looked at it and, and she was sitting there and she's got i mean she's got a, her makeup is perfect and everything but she was sitting there looking stead, straight into the camera mm. and it was like hi ernie how are you and blink 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 you know like that and i said that looks like an ai that doesn't look like a human you know mm. and i told her i said I, afterwards i told her i said that didn't seem real she said what do i got to do to prove to you that i'm real i said well if i if i saw you in person I know you were real. Then she said, well, why don't you come out here? Because she was originally supposed to come out to Alabama. And I said, okay. So I set up the flight and everything. And dobra, chcę zobaczyć, jak, said, chcę zobaczyć, said, jak go konfrontują z rzeczywistością. O, dobra, uh, zobaczmy we'll to nagranie, które mu wysła. To jest, uwaga, tu będzie wideo chat, który miał udowodnić, że jest prawdziwa. So looking at the camera. She's Ernie, it's me. I'm real, you know, here I am and all that. And I was talking to her and she talked back to me. And I so I kind of tried was trying to get her to do something other than just be sitting there straight like this, you know, looking at me. And while I was talking to her, she just had a, a pleasant look on her face. And I said, Well, why don't you give me a, a a kiss, you know? And I was gonna see if she'd give me a kissy face. She didn't do it. She says, No, I don't want to do that. But the voice was the right voice that I've heard several times. It was the same voice. And the face looked like her face. From our expertise, what she did was she went onto an app and you could put the from our expertise photo on this app. You can make the photo's mouth move and it's an AI. There are a ton of apps online that will turn a still photo into a video. These apps vary in price, but they are typically low cost and sometimes even free. The scammer will simply drop the photo into one of these apps and turn it into a video. Then, on whatever app they're using to video chat with the victim, they'll use the share screen option to display the video they created. From here, the scammer will simply speak as the video is being played. This is just one of many ways a scammer will fake a video call. Be aware of her story that she told you, right? Yeah, because her story is her, her mom and dad were both doctors, and they're still in China. She had come to the States for an education. Her her dad had paid, you know, put out all the money and everything for her education. Well, she was in UCLA, I guess, and then uh, she moved from there to actual to, to LA. You know, she was living somewhere else. But uh, her Ernest, own, the her thing, own. so Ernest, the thing is, is she's lying to you. This person on, behind this profile is in Thailand. Yeah. 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 You know, this type of scam that you're in is actually called a pig butchering scam. And pig butchering scams are really big in in Asian countries. So we weren't yeah. surprised when we got a click from Thailand because they usually stem from these types of countries. I just did a quick website search and we believe the screenshot that they provided you with was completely fake because there's no internet history on that website at all. Oh yeah. Is that No, dobrze. No i, i spoko. Jakby w przypadku takich gości uważam, że jest to akceptowalny sposób redystrybucji dóbr na świecie. Mam nadzieję, że chociaż faktycznie trafiło to do jakichś pojedynczych skamerów z Tajlandii, a nie do jakiegoś evil overlorda, który prowadzi wielki hangar, w którym siedzi 500 osób i skamuje starszych ludzi z USA i nic z tego nie mają. We were extremely confused when we tried to visit this website and it didn't exist. Like many other pig butchering victims, Ernest thought he was investing into this website, but really he was just sending money to another Bitcoin wallet. The scammer gets the victim to believe that they are investing into those websites by mirroring the investments on the fake website. Poziom samej świadomości, w którym nie masz pojęcia, czym jest AI, albo czym są aplikacje do ruszania zdjęciami, ale czujesz się na tyle pewnie, żeby inwestować w krypto. When the scammer receives the payment, they go into the coding on the website and fix the numbers to make the victim believe that they are actually making a profit. These people weren't giving you a wallet ID to transfer money to. You were doing legit wire transfers. Right. And I never did any transactions that went to them. 
-hmm. it went into those accounts. You know, it, it was like it went to that American Community Bank, and then it went to Bakhti, and then from Bakhti to Crypto.com, and then later on, it, uh, just before everything fell apart, I was using um, was it Uphold, right? I was putting money in up, a wire transfer to Uphold. Ernest never had a login to this website. Mazine would just send him screenshots of his account on the fake website. The scammer essentially opened a wallet for Ernest and had control of it. All Ernest had to do was sign off on the transfers. Czy była postać, która dała się oskabować dwa razy różnym osobom? Na dwa odcinki nie. Ale w jednym odcinku rozmawiali na przykład z osobami, które pięć razy już były oskamowane i zdały sobie sprawę z tego, że były oskamowane, ale wchodzą w szósty skam na przykład właśnie w tej chwili i twierdzą, że tym razem to jest prawdziwa osoba. By phone or via email. All of these screenshots Ernest received were photoshopped. We wanted to make sure that Ernest never sent another dime to Mazine. It was time to reveal to him the truth. So Ernest, we have the last bit of information that you've been waiting for. We were able to pull in all of the photos and run reverse image searches and we found the real woman in these photos. And we were also able to run a reverse image search on her assistant. Um, you want to start with their assistant? Yeah, so her assistant, Anna, um, we did find her real name and her name is Ari. She's a social media content creator. Funny thing is she's actually married to an Asian man. So that's why you see tons of pictures of her eating Asian food. And, and what did you say her last name was? Ari. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We're talking about okay about the other Asian woman, not her. Her, her assistant. She married an Asian man, so that's how she got that last name. Okay. Ernest is confused. Huh. Yeah. We ran a reverse image search on all of Mazing's pictures. The real woman in the pictures is actually Yenyella. She's a gemologist and she creates jewelry. She's also a social media influencer. Yeah. Huh. Huh. That's interesting. It's not only me getting scammed, but the person that on the other side gets scammed too, in a way, right? She has her own life, like Bree said. She's never spoken to you. Her photos were just stolen to dupe you out of money. Well, all, all the information makes me feel like I'm stupid and I'm an old fool. Well... Ernest, ty to powiedziałeś. Um, uh, I mean, some of the information, you know, I, I feel sorry for the woman that's on the other end that, that her images were being used. Ernest, tylko błagam, nie pisz do niej. Um, especially some of the images that I saw. So, um, if I was ever meet her, I'd have to apologize to her, I guess. I don't know. I didn't do anything that was... I was always on the up and up with Mazine, so I, I I don't feel like I did anything wrong with Mazine. You know, I wasn't I wasn't drooling over her pictures or, or making snide remarks to her or anything like that. It was always um, I always kind of her. Ernest, be Ernest with me. It's something that was special, so I never did any of that. Um, so it. it It makes me more aware of the world, you know. I, good, I guess good. I've been kind of naive for a long time. I mean, even when you think about my background, you you think I would I wouldn't be quite so naive, but I am. Mm. I'm trusting, I guess. So. Wszyscy wiedzą, że policjanci to bardzo inteligentne i domyślne jednostki. So that's what it makes me feel more cautious about dealing with people. You know, we're going to be here to to help you um, get this thing reported. Um, we we urge you to go down to your local police, report this. We'll be able to turn it over to law enforcement and we'll see how far we can take this. Okay. well, I, I think you're doing something good um, and, and you got a lot of expertise, I guess, that I don't have. Definitely. Um, I, I always considered myself one of the oldest geeks in the world because because I thought I knew my way around computers and stuff. But um It's good that you have sources that nobody else seems to have. Nikt inny na świecie nie ma tych y, tych sources co oni, czyli reverse Google image search. Nikt inny na świecie nie mógłby się domyślić, że Maisie nie jest prawdziwa. Tylko oni. 
you can trace things down and I, I think you're doing a, a good thing you know for everybody um, I just wish I would have known it before <laughs> that's the only thing so you know hindsight's 2020 and but I don't I don't I don't have blinders on anymore I, I'm, I'm looking at things differently you know I've actually been kind of playing your game with some of the people that I've been contacting lately so you know fish them in and then block them so uh, Ta? what is the next steps for you the next step for me is just that every time I get and when I meet somebody on Facebook you know I'm I'm double checking everything so I'm not getting taken for anything ta naklejka USA wygląda tak komunistycznie no trochę wiecie co ich te aesthetics Czasem, kiedy są aż tak przeciwne, stają się y, strasznie podobne w jakiś sposób. Ernest decided never to send money online to anyone again. He still has a lot to learn, but we believe he won't make the same mistake. Mazin is still insisting that the investments on the website are real, but Ernest blocked her the next day. Good for Ernest. Przykro ze względu na chłopca z Tajlandii, który nie kupi sobie następnej generacji konsoli. Mam dla was jeszcze jednego typa. Po nim przejdziemy do Baldura. Victim plans to leave his wife for romance scammer. Brzmi Grubo. Ok, Gregon ma trochę więcej informacji dla nas. Pig Butchering Scam jest pojebanym tematem. Zajmują się tym całe gangi w Birmie, które dzięki, e, dzięki chaosowi trwającej wojnie domowej używają osoby porwanych z handlu ludźmi. Pieniądze ze skamów często idą bezpośrednio do jednej ze stron tej wojny. Ok, ok, to nie, nie kibicujemy im. Fuck that shit. Wszystko, czemu... Każdy następny level wszystkiego, co oglądamy, musi być coraz bardziej smutny. Cześć, chrupek. Właśnie włamał się do pokoju. Yy, mamy kolejnego typa, który chce zostawić żonę dla swojej nowej miłości, znalezionej w internecie. Zobaczmy. Welcome back to another episode of Scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com. Today, we are speaking to a man named Rob from New York. Rob met a woman named Sarah on Facebook dating. The two hit it off and began a relationship through texting and phone calls. Rob came to us after sending Sarah close to $20,000 for food and traveling expenses so they could meet. He fell for Sarah so hard. 20 tysięcy dolców. He planned to leave the mother of his child so he could begin his relationship once he met Sarah in person. Oh Let's see God. if we can get to the bottom of this. Real quick, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into it. Hi, my name's Rob. I've been living in my house. To będzie mocne. To będzie mocne. For probably 22 years now. So I'm an avid tractor puller. I love working on nice. tractors. That's my hobby. Nice. Dobra kolekcja. I'm a maintenance mechanic. Worked in Buffalo. I met this girl on Facebook. Her name is Sarah. Beautiful girl. She's got long red hair. She says she's 36 years old. A lot of tattoos. Okej, okay, przynajmniej nie 18. And I know she loves money. <laughs> the first couple of pictures I got to przynajmniej coś o niej wiesz. from her, I really fell in love with the pictures. Conversations that we had were like, uh, she wanted me to say I loved her. And I really didn't start doing that till, say, like a month or two afterwards. Mm. Zgrywał niedostępnego. But she kept saying she loved me. Nie jest taki łatwy. Słuchajcie, jak można by się spodziewać. And I said that I, I would like to meet you. I would like to see you. 
I, I would like that relationship. I, I would like to live with the girl. I would like to uh, start a life with her. I would like to... Okej, okay. patrząc ale nie tylko na nią, ale również na pająka w tle. Nie mówię, że zrujnowałabym moje małżeństwo dla niej, bo nigdy. Ale gdybym była wolna, gdyby ona nie była prawdziwa. Have kids with her? Just, just live with her, you know? Sarah that I know of does not have no kids. She loves butterflies. She's got... We should have kids together? Okej, okay. zgrywanie niedostępnego chyba trochę poszło do kosza już. Gościu jakby szybko wjechał na grubo. Okej, okay, ale tatuaże te, te z motylkami nie będę oceniać. Mogłobyśmy, mogłobyśmy chodzić na laserowe usuwanie tatuaży razem. Nie mogę Sary oceniać, yy, mając łapaczców na ramieniu, więc myślę, że byłby to dobry pomysł na pierwszą randkę. Okej, Wants to, uh, Harpagan pisze, mając co na ramieniu, nie interesuj się. Okej, Rob, Robert, Bobert, can I call you Bobert? Szkoda, że nie masz tych dzieci, o których jej pisałeś, bo ktoś, ktoś młodszy powinien z tobą poważnie porozmawiać. Nie, to nie jest Bobert? Dobra, nie, nie będę bezcześcić imienia Boberta, pozostańmy przy Rob. The first time I started sending money to Sarah, it was her birthday. She wanted something for her birthday. So I says to her, I says, well, I can send you 75 bucks to, you know, get you a gift or whatever. And then she just wanted money. And then she wanted it in gift cards. And I was like a little, well, I don't know how to do that. He got robbed. Ah. Okay, to nie było aż tak śmieszne. Mimo wciąż... Doceniam użytkowniku Bochrab. Okej, okay, on ma jakieś dziecko. Faktycznie, przypomina Frugo Girl, była mowa o tym, że on chce zostawić matkę swojego dziecka dla Sary. Został zbobiony. Jesteście on fire. Well, send me 100. I says, no, I'll send you 75. She put... <laughs> Ty przetarguje. Targuje się ze skamerką. For more money. She's been there for six to eight months now, I guess, in the United Kingdom. When she left to go to the United Kingdom, she never told me that I had to support her when she was there. She told me this after she arrived there. And I was like, what is this? I said, I, I, I can't do this. I was looking for other avenues of money. Uh, a couple of credit cards I had, one new credit card I started, so I just kept sending her oh money, God. and I think that the money total now is like over $16,000. Every time Rob would send money to Sarah, it'd be through gift cards. He had gift To jest strasznie przykre, bo wiecie, że to są pewnie ich wspólne pieniądze. Gift cards all over his garage, along with the receipts. We estimated Rob had sent Sarah around 200 gift cards over the course of them talking online. She wanted me to pay for her hotel room constantly. It was like $2,000 every couple of weeks or something like that. And I, I got to... Zbłagam, pokażcie, co na to żona. ...to the point to where I was running out of money 
and I had to do something. She said she had to have $2,800 for her lawyer. She... Za 10 lat skamerze będą prosić o kod do gierek na Steam zamiast gift cardów. Nie wiem jak z kodami na Steam. Z tymi gift cardami chodzi o to, że da się je zwrócić i dostać gotówkę. I jest nawet przelicznik konkretnie, ile dostajesz jakby za dolara wydanego na tą kartę, nie? W każdym razie opłaca im się to. You're supposed to get her inher- inheritance because her father passed away and left her a bunch of stuff. Rob was running low on money at this point. He had already sent tens of thousands of dollars to Sarah. Mm, inher- I tu jest klasyk. Jak sama hot baba nie wystarcza, to zaczynają im jeszcze dyndać przed oczami obietnicą pieniędzy w, st- w formie albo jakiegoś spadku, który będzie można na przykład odebrać tylko wtedy, kiedy ożeni się z prawdziwą miłością, kiedy wyjdzie za porządnego chłopa. Na przykład, że, że wujek zapisał jej w spadku fortunę, ale napisał taką klauzulę, że ona musi wcześniej wyjść za mąż, za porządnego chłopa. Albo wjeżdżają na przykład ukryte gdzieś z- złote sztabki, które musimy razem odzyskać. Klasyk. Inheritance was supposed to be for him to pay all his bills off and Sarah would find I tak kojarzę Kit Bogę, y, bardzo lubię jego content. Really be on her way to New York. Rob felt that this was the only way and he needed to make sure Sarah received her dad's inheritance. He was willing to do whatever it took. I took it out of my 401k and I gave it to uh, her through gift cards, Uff. all of it. Jak ktoś nie wie to 401k to jest y, taka forma odkładania na emeryturę w Stanach. After so many days, it was $2800 to get it started. The lawyer talked to me, told me this is what you get started and you got to finish it right to the end. And he kept saying, keep it quiet. Don't let anybody hear anything. Don't tell anybody. E, Harpagan pisze mój wujek napisał mi klauzulę, że nie dostanie dwóch domów, dopóki nie dostanę dwóch domów, dopóki nie wychujam jakiegoś typa w internecie. I jak najbardziej rozumiem, coraz dziwniejsze te klauzule zapisują e, w testamentach. E, na przykład dziadek Tomka, nie wiem czy wiecie, e, napisał, że nic mu nie zostawi, chyba że ożeni się z laską, co ma co najmniej 30 tysięcy followersów na Twitterze. Tak się zdobywa takiego chłopa. Sarah would always know what to say. At the right time, the right place. Anytime I texted, she was right there. I, I liked that quality in her. And sooner or later after that, the quality started falling back. I was married for 10 years, over 10 years ago. And my ex-wife, that's all she was concerned about was money. All right. She wanted money left and right. Ach, babe. It, any amount of money didn't make her happy. I, I see the... The simula- simulation with Sarah. Simula- uh, simula- simulation? It, it's Hello? just no amount of money is going to make her happy. I says, I, I, I kept telling Sarah, I says, I lived this life 10 years ago and I got divorced because of it because I couldn't do it no more. I'm going to make the same decision with you. I got a 14 year old son now. I'm living with an. O... Czy jego 14 letni syn jest gwiazdą k popu Bo. W, wiem, że ma rozmazaną twarz, ale tak poza tym to tak wygląda. Another girl right now uh, for 14 years I used to work with her. We love each other to death. Uh, uh, do... <laughs> Kochamy się na zabój, tylko ja przy okazji wysłałam 20 tysięcy na boku lasce, z którą chciałbym mieć dzieci. For the world, you know. Any, anything I can possibly give her, I'll give her. She works. Uh, she does anything for me make my lunch every day before I go to work. She's a little on the bigger side. She's probably 220 pounds, five foot four, five five maybe. I mean, a beautiful girl, but she's just bigger. She's on... Laska pracuje, kocha go na zabój, robi mu lunch codziennie do pracy, chociaż sama pracuje, ale wiecie, ale jest trochę duża. Ale jest trochę duża. A ty jesteś trochę łysy. I nie robisz sobie lunchu sam do pracy. Ryj! The bigger side. My thing was, Sarah's a very beautiful girl. She probably weighs a, 
130 pounds soaking wet, 100, maybe 140. What? Czy on zaczyna porównywać ich wagi? O, o. Jest w ogóle takie wyrażenie, ona waży tyle i tyle soaking wet? Po angielsku strasznie creepy. I, I would love to be with a beautiful girl again. All right? What the fuck? Okej. Okay. Przed chwilą powiedziałeś, że twoja żona jest piękna. Tylko trochę duża, ale ciągle piękna. A teraz mówisz, że strasznie chciałbyś znów być z piękną dziewczyną. A może twoja żona chciałaby być znów z pięknym facetem, ale robi codziennie rano lunch brzydkiemu? My girl's beautiful. She's just 220 some pounds. Shut And that just kind of turns me off a little bit. I've never married her. Asia, dziękuję za subskrypcję. I've, I've told her I would, but I, I just never married her. I just, it, it, it turns me off. That's all. On, on nawet nie wziął z nią ślubu. If she took care of herself and done things, I, I, I would like her to get down to like 130, 140. On nawet ma konkretną wagę, do której chcę, żeby zeszła. O! Maybe 150. On nie może z tym dealować. Po prostu... I I wyjdę, wyjdę. Started dating her. When I got out of my marriage, when I was divorced, we met right away and we hit it off. We talked about a lot of similar things and she at the, at the time loved to go outside and do things. Now she can't go outside because of her allergy. Widzę ją na zewnątrz, właśnie w tej chwili, jak kosi twój trawnik, pewnie po tym, jak zrobiła ci lunch do pracy. Doskonały plan. I can't bring myself to do it, but until the time comes, I'm going to have to do it. There is a lot of arguing because she wants me to send $50,000 to her and I refuse to. Her Aww. lawyer told me, uh, she told me that it was for taxes being paid on properties and it's actually like $65,000, but I told her I was only going to come up with $50,000. That's the only thing she's got to pay for her father's taxes and she just keeps saying soon that we'll be together. Soon, soon, soon. No właśnie, myślicie, że on do tego hotelu, w którym ma zamiar się z nią spotkać, weźmie lunch zapakowany przez żonę na drogę? Well, I've heard that for like almost eight months now. I, I just can't, I can't take it no more. I, I love the pictures. I would love to fall in love with the girl. She's a beautiful girl. But I, I don't know if she's real or not. I thought that after $16,000 later that I would be with her. I got to pay to see you. No, popatrz. You know, mm, both in love. Tak nie działa. But if I don't pay to see you, you're going to find another man someplace else. And she's admitted to that several times. For food. A mój Boże, i potem jakieś redpile na Twitterze będą pisać o tym, że laski ciągle chcą tylko kasy od facetów. W momencie, kiedy koleś znalazł sobie laskę, która nie chce od niego kasy, zarabia i jeszcze robi mu kanapki, to poszedł od razu szukać skamerki na Facebooku, żeby móc jej przesłać 20 tysięcy dolarów za fotki, które ukradła komuś innemu. I need to find out if this girl is real or not real. It's too too much money involved to go back and forth. I, I can't do it no more. I gotta find out if it's real or not. I, I just I watch all the shows. I've seen a lot of things and I, I need I need to find out if this girl is real or not. Our team looked over all the information that Rob sent to us and began to search for answers. We knew we had to get Sarah on the phone. We needed to hear her voice. I had Rob uh -huh. send a text message to Sarah stating, if you don't call me right now, you will never get any more money from me. She called, 
three minutes after that text was sent. Sarah didn't know I was on the other line, listening close to the whole conversation. Nice. I, I want to send you this money, but uh, I, ha I have to have a way to send it. Okay? okay. Yeah. Next thing we did was find out who this person was in these photos that were being being sent to Rob. We ran a reverse image search and got results in minutes. If you're looking to find the identity of your online lover, you can start with the tools on our site, socialcatfish.com. You can click this YouTube card or click the link in our bio. Just hitting like, comment, and subscribe helps us build more tools out for you to use in the future. Stick around till the end to hear what Sarah's voice sounds like for the first time. You are not going to want to miss it. It was time to sit down with Rob and let him know what we had found. Rob, how's it going? Hey, Rob. Good, good. So you are in a relationship right now? Yes. What made you want to have a relationship and then pursue another one on the side? I guess it was the, the interest of being liked, I guess, and somebody talking to you. And did you not feel like you had that in your current relationship? I did, but we we have our own problems here and there, and it's just, it, it just happens. <laughs> it's a relationship, so I just pursued the other issue, figuring I could uh, sometime leave the person I'm with to go with the other one. Are you going to reveal to Jennifer what, you've been going through does she know about this she knows nothing about it typie jak jest a jo wo i co i ona a to wiesz z youtube she probably would pick up and leave and take my son with her and she probably you will going to leave her though right at one point yes have i ever seen sarah i want to run oh, through God. a few things with you so I'm going to go through the questions and Brianne is actually going to reveal a lot of the stuff that she's investigated over this past week for you, okay? Okay. Starting with the email, you know, we searched the email from the lawyer and what we had found out was there was no online footprint, meaning we couldn't find any trace of that email online. If this was a reputable lawyer, we should be able to find something from him and we couldn't find anything. The next thing I wanted to touch on was the the gift cards that were sent. You know, something that we tell anyone who's used gift cards to send to someone online is they're untraceable. There's no personal information attached to them. So with that being said, there's no way to retrieve any of the funds. There's also no way to find out who used them and where. Um, in this case, it does look like a VPN was used when the gift card was cashed, meaning it looks as if the gift card was used in the United States. However, there's no actual proof of where it was used or how it was redeemed. So basically what happens is you go, you get a gift card, you scratch off the number, you send them the number, and they go to websites or they have, you know, quote unquote brokers that will cash in the gift cards for you. Cash or Bitcoin. They typically get about 80 cents on the dollar depending on how they're redeeming those gift cards. And it's not traceable and they all use untraceable ways to do it. So they either go through like a third party broker. Swoją drogą ten gościu ma dwa różne kolory oczu i jest to trochę cool. Broker that does this for a living um, or they'll use third party websites like Paxful um, to redeem these gift cards. And so that's how they're actually getting the money from these. Yeah, I, I called Apple at one time to trace the gift cards. This was a while ago. And they said they were cashed in California someplace. That's all yeah. I know. I'm sure a big question you have, who's the real person behind the images? Yes. <laughs> we found her. Yeah, so she's actually a model. She's in her 30s. She's happily married. And she's <laughs> definitely not the person that you have been talking to. But one thing, too, so she's into cosplay. And so she does <gasps> a lot of costumes she's and different so things for cool. cosplay. And one thing we found is like when the images that you were sent, almost all those images came from her Facebook profile. I'm curious, Rob, where does this leave you with Sarah? I'm staying here with Jennifer and my son. Uh, so. Jesteś tego pewien? 
mam wrażenie, że na tym etapie to już nie zależy tylko od ciebie, Rob. Uh, I can't. Uh, I can't text her. You know, I'll, I'll probably text her one more time saying, uh, "Hey, you, you are not who you are. Uh, you know, leave me alone, regardless." A, a nie czaj w ogóle co robi, nie? Well, probably a guy on the other end. <laughs> Z jaką satysfakcją mu to uświadomił? You know, you had talked about like. Zobaczcie, um, <laughs> jak mu gul chodzi o ty. <laughs> you know, your current girlfriend's weight and how you were just going to leave her for this other w- woman. People are going to watch this, and I know there's going to be a lot of people that are infuriated. To be honest, I was a little infuriated when I when I heard those comments. It sounds misogynistic. What do you have to say to those people? Uh, well. Ale go grilluje. I'm sorry that uh, you know some things happened like this. I was, I thought I was caught up in a relationship online, and I wasn't. I was uh, cheated over the head. I mean, technically, like if it was a real relationship, you you technically cheated. <laughs> okay, I love that guy with two different eyes. Yeah. 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 I'm sure there's more to a relationship that we don't know, but. I mean, it doesn't seem like a very good situation for either one of you guys. Nie, przepraszam bardzo, to brzmi jak bardzo dobra sytuacja dla niego. Ma żonę, którą kocha, która twierdzi, że jest beautiful, nie żonę, dziewczynę, przepraszam, która nie prosi go o kasę i robi mu codziennie jedzenie. Przepraszam bardzo, co jest y, nie tak dla niego w tej relacji, co? Well... I, just, I do it to try to keep the, the boy needs a father and a mother. You know, one mo- a, okej, okay, to teraz tak jakby Sara była prawdziwa, to bym zostawił swoją dziewczynę. Ale skoro Sara jest nieprawdziwa, to um, nasz syn potrzebuje matki i ojca. Mother, one father. Uh, not two different other people. When kids are younger, they just they can't deal with that stuff that goes on like. A teraz będzie grał kartą dzieci. Nice. Okay. What do you want to tell her if she wa- ever watches this? Hey. Forgiveness that uh, I was caught up in a relationship that I never should have been in and I probably should have told her right at the beginning. Well, hopefully we stay together. A few other things too, like we listened to the recording. The girl sounds like she's from the Philippines. And one interesting thing when I when I listened to the, the call was that um, it almost sounded like the girl that you were talking to was being coached by someone else because there was always a delay. So you would say something, there'd be a delay and then a response. And so it almost sounded... O nie, teraz... O Boże, teraz będę myśleć o tym, że ta dziewczyna faktycznie jest seks trafikowana, ta, która mu odpowiadała na... w telefonie. It was like, you know, somebody was either texting them while you guys were talking or on the phone while you guys were talking and they were coaching her through it. I, I want to send you this money, but uh, I, ha- I have to have a way to send it. Okay? Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I want to go all gift cards or not. There's got to be a, we got to have a different way of sending this, but I want to send it because I want to see you. <laughs> Lucja pisze, jego dzieci powinny udawać piękną rudowłosą dziewczynę i wyłudzać w ten sposób alimenty. <laughs> Oh my god! Boże, to jest taki dobry pomysł. Are you still there? No, I can't hear you. I thought maybe you can just get a card. Can you send it now? Send it. It's, you gotta slow down. Send you a card, you said? Uh, is that what you said? Send you a card? Sarah? Okay, well, I could probably do that later on after I get off the phone. Uh, I'm, I'm at a pole right now. Okay, I, I, I understand that, but you, do you have a volume thing on your phone you can turn up or? What time is it there now? 
What do you think about Sarah's voice? What kind of accent do you think she has? Let us know in the comment section below. Lubelski. I do wish you the best. Um, I hope if Jennifer Wa Chcę zobaczyć kiedyś na Katwisz piękną skamerkę z Lublina. Watches this. I hope that she's the kind human being that, you know, she sounds like, you know, and I hope you guys can work it out. Okay. Okay, yes. Well, thank you, Rob. Okay, thank you. Mm, All right, bye. Okay. Thanks for watching another episode of Scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com. Czy Don't dowiemy się co było like, dalej? And subscribe. See you next time. O nie, nie będzie napisu o tym, co było dalej z bohaterami tego odcinka. Scams come in so many different forms. <laughs> I know. O nie, nie będzie. Dobra. Mm. Musimy jeszcze dziś zagrać w Baldura. Ale ja muszę sobie pójść po coś do picia. I może po coś y, jeszcze. Zostawiam Was na dwie minuty. Włączę Wam muzyczkę i klimę. Niech nikt nie wybija szyby w międzyczasie, ok? Okay?